Hi, I'm Sherman Snyder with MLC CAD Systems. And today I want to talk about using entry and exit points in a 2D contour toolpath. I have a couple operations over here, uh, one being my drill operation. And we're using a one inch drill to drill the one inch diameter holes in this part. And then I have my contour operation where we have a one inch flat end mill that we're going to be machining the counter bores on the part. And we could take a look at our three chains here. That's where my geometry is going to come from. And let's put this in top view. And we're going to take a look at an issue that's going to occur whenever we don't have a start point for this toolpath. So let's go ahead and back plot this toolpath. And you notice my tool is going to engage outside of this hole here and plunge right down on top of the wall. And this isn't what we want. We want the toolpath to actually start in the center and work its way to the outside. This could be problematic depending on what type of material you may be cutting. So, under our cut parameters for this toolpath, we're going to look at our lead in, lead out option, and we're going to use entry point and exit points. So, we could simply turn these on here, and I could have simply kicked the option over to entry and exit to be the same. Real quick, let's take a look at our chain geometry as well. And you notice I have them labeled on here, hole one, two, and three, just for visual purposes. We're gonna add a point under our wireframe. And we'll select that start point here. And now, since we can see the labels here for each hole, I'm just gonna drag this start point above hole one. I'm gonna say okay, and we're gonna generate this toolpath. And now we could clearly see the tool starting in the center of the hole, working its way around and coming right back to center. So let's make some changes here. Let's add some multi-paths to this. And I'll just leave it at the basic options I have already set. Let's put them in top view. And let's regenerate this toolpath. And you notice on the other toolpaths, each engage and disengage is going to climb out further and further where hole number one we're using a start and exit point here and so no matter how much it pushes over it's always going to use that start point that we've created we'll go back into the parameters I'm just going to shut off multi-pass and before I say okay let's go into our chain geometry and let's see what happens when we move this to say hole three I'll say okay to this and let's rename this real quick let's call it point one just for a visual purpose we'll say okay and let's regenerate this toolpath so now we see the last hole it's still cutting the contour but it's plunging in on hole one where that point was selected so let's go ahead and move this point back up above hole one and let's create a couple more points to drive the other contours here. I'll say this one and this one. And we'll put those in the correct order. This will be above hole two. And this will be above hole three. And let's regenerate this. And there we go. So now we're able to drive each one of these contoured tool paths to have the tool plunge down into the center without violating the wall coming down and this is how the start point and exit points work within the contour toolpath for MasterCam. 